New York. This is ABC News. Here now, Bill Bonds. Good evening, everybody. There is some reason to believe tonight that man may have found something that he's been looking for for a long, long time. The kind of chemicals necessary to support life on another planet. Now, the information from Viking One is very, very tentative, but it has definitely made scientists more optimistic about the chances of finding life on Mars. Science editor Jules Bergman reports. The first tip-off may have been this new shot of Mars Friday, a red Martian surface like a painted desert, meaning large quantities of iron oxide as well as other oxygen-bearing minerals. Today at a briefing, scientists disclosed that they found 15 times more oxygen than they thought they would. What we have found, in fact, is something like 15 times as much oxygen in that atmosphere as we can account for from known sources. The oxygen was found directly in one gas exchange experiment, but it could be, Dr. Klein cautions, just a gaseous imitation of life. What made the findings even stranger was that in a second experiment, where radioactivity is used to tag elements, the tracer gases released behave just as life would be doing. At present, there's no way you can rule out that data as being due to biology. However, let me say, if it is a biological response, if it is, then it's a stronger response than we have seen with fairly rich terrestrial soils. And it would also imply that microbial life on Mars is more highly developed, more intense than it is on the Earth. It could be as simple as the oxygen in the soil being released when put into a warm test chamber. It's all so preliminary that the scientists weren't even going to talk about it, not until much more data was in. So don't hold your breath waiting for little green men to appear. If there is life, and it's a very big if, it's going to take many more weeks to prove it. Tuesday, new soil samples will be taken that may help resolve the mystery. Scientists, for the moment, are cautiously excited and deeply skeptical. This is Jules Bergman, ABC News, New York. Well, apparently some people have proof enough already. In Appleton, Wisconsin, Lenore Hildebrandt says that the Viking scientists aren't telling us, quote, the whole truth. Ms. Hildebrandt is director of the UFO Education Center. And she says that if the scientists really wanted to find life on Mars, they would not have landed Viking in a desert far away from the Martian cities. 